this video, I'm going to explain what the process of arbitration is in layman terms. I'm also going to explain how arbitration, if triggered, can impact your case. What is arbitration and why should employees care about it? Okay. Arbitration is a legal process that replaces a jury with a retired judge or a lawyer who is paid to decide whether illegal conduct happened and how much you should be receiving as a damage award in your case. It's very important to note that an arbitration has no jury. The person who will be making the decision in your case is going to be paid by the defendant, by your employer. This is everything that is wrong with arbitration in our country. If the employer is paying the arbitrator, what is the likelihood that the arbitrator is going to be completely unbiased in making a decision? Arbitrators are people just like everyone else. There are good people, there are bad people. But for this lawyer, every arbitration is a worse alternative than a jury trial. Everyone knows that lawsuits in court take forever. Uh, isn't arbitration supposed to be a faster and more efficient form of justice? One of the sad realities of arbitration is that when it's faster, it's usually faster to the benefit of the employer, meaning that you, the employee, won't get to do as much discovery. You won't get to take as many depositions. You won't get to write and send as many written questions called interrogatories. Discovery disputes tend to be fizzled out by the arbitrator. The arbitration that moves fast moves fast at the peril of the plaintiff. A fast-moving arbitration does not guarantee swift justice. It guarantees swift defeat. Well, if an arbitrator isn't being fair because they're being paid by the company, uh, can you just appeal a bad arbitrator or appeal a bad arbitration ruling? The simple fact is the most pure, terrible aspect of arbitration is there is really no very strong grounds for appeal. The arbitrator is powerful and has wide discretion to make the decision on the case. Although. You could theoretically appeal. Those appeals are often unsuccessful. Um, if somebody already signed an arbitration agreement when they started working at a company, does that mean they're completely out of luck in terms of pursuing a case down the road? If you have signed an arbitration agreement, you're not, quote, out of luck because you can still bring a legal action. It's just that your legal action will have to take place in an arbitration setting. Many lawyers will still file your case in the civil courts hoping that the defendant doesn't want to do arbitration. Sometimes defendants don't want to go to arbitration because they don't want to pay all the fees that are required for an arbitration. Arbitrations are a good legal process for the employer to limit the amount of damages that a plaintiff is likely to get. You don't have runaway juries in arbitration. So arbitration awards have a tendency to be much lower compared to jury verdict awards. And if somebody signed an arbitration agreement, is it possible that that arbitration agreement is unenforceable? Depending upon the circumstances under which an arbitration agreement was executed, it is theoretically possible that the arbitration agreement might not be enforced. However, courts right now are extremely overworked and under-resourced. So many courts, if given the opportunity to send a case to arbitration, will send it to arbitration even if the law suggests it shouldn't go to arbitration.